Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You'll see it on the left-hand side, the second one down. You hit that button. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has approximately 10 to 11 archives on there so that once you get the newsletter, you're going to get all the archives. You're going to get all the education he's done. You're going to get all the workshops that he's done. And if, you know, bottom line, you can go through them all at 29th day, if you, for some reason it didn't work, guess what? Just tell us you want your money back, you get your money back. If not, you are off to the races, of course, for your next month. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good, thank you. Good. So what are we looking at out here, Basil? Well, you know what's fascinating about this market is that with all, at, for a long time, going up to about midweek last week, <clears throat> there was a lot of negativity. And I always like to say that a market is always looking at, I'll show this chart right here, I showed it this morning in my show, the target technicians hour, let me see if I can get this up there. I always talk about this as the market sometimes takes in the news and just treats it as if ho-hum, yeah, just another day. And then the very same news, the next day, the market has a penuptium that they could do anything. And I've considered since November of 2022 that there's really been a very strong cap on the market, and that's this gray rectangle here. Okay. Every time, every time the market goes, the Dow, at least the Dow, goes about 33,500. This, this is the stalling area. I call it the dark news cloud cover, and I use the Dow as a daily chart as a proxy for the whole thing. And here we are once again, but in fact, when we came down this, this last, I say all of last week going into this week, let me just get this away and you'll see. The Dow has pulled back from the 34,580 high of the 16th of June, pulled back quite sharply, about 1,000 points. And I use one particular indicator as a very, it's like my last resort when that goes, you, you've got to be careful either on the downside or the upside. <clears throat> and that's where the nine period exponential moving average, this is the green line, the daily chart here, Yeah, holds above the 14 period moving average, doesn't cross negative, that says there's still internal strength. So yeah, keep an eye on this Dow chart in the daily, this is the weekly which went under the previous high of December of 34,712, but it did make it now. I'm always looking for four higher peaks, peak D. That's where other things can happen. So look at the sharp pullback at D in the daily. Look at this D in the weekly. It's just pulled back a little bit, but that nine is still very good. Look at the S&P. The S&P, and I, I must say that we're, we're actually short the S&P right now, <clears throat> even with this move up. So far, the stop is holding. But uh, why is it not doing that? Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> there it goes. This is the S&P. Same story. But look what's happened. It held the 14-period moving average in the daily. The 9-period moving average didn't pull back as sharp as I thought it would. <clears throat> Still very positive. And the weekly chart has gone to a peak E. <clears throat> Excuse me. But still holding very well. Look at the QQQ. Also holding very well. It did dip under the 14, but that nine period moving average is still above the 14. So I have a lot of respect for that. <clears throat> I thought that the SMHs, the semiconductors, which were acting very poorly, would pull back. Instead, today they've had a very nice pop. And, that, <clears throat> and that's just saying to me that I've got to con constantly keep monitoring this 9 over the 14, and I, I want to show you something here. This is the intraday, and I had mentioned this uh, in the den just a short while ago. Look, here's the five-minute chart from this pop-up at um, 8.35, I think, 8.40 this morning. 
you see this green line and every single dip even when the price went underneath the nine period moving average has constantly held and even as we speaking is holding so all the way through this one the MACD started to pull back the stochastic was flat and then it pulled back sharply yet the price held so that's the reason I'll do a little bit more in my show tomorrow at 10 o'clock but that's the reason why I've got a lot of respect for this particular indicator and I am considering that there's a rotation that's going on and we might have used up a chunk of the down move using up time more than price and going into this Friday a week. In other words, give it this full beginning of July to start. It won't be the full week because it'll be a short week. But I want to see where we go because if the Dow and the S&P and the QQQ, the IWM is very weak this thus far, but it's starting to rail a little bit. If they pull away from that 14 period moving average, move sharply above the nine, I have to consider we've used up time as a digestive uh, moment. But if there's any story coming up in the next three sessions and you start, I'll give you numbers. If the S&P starts to close under 43.22, it's at 43.60, uh, 43.80 right now. If the Dow closes under um, 33,500, I think, and the QQQ, I'll give you the number there, the QQQ, if it, instead of rallying to the 367 area, if it starts to trade under three, I think it was 353, uh, 356. If it goes under 356, that's going to be a problem. So I'm just looking at this and saying we've built up a cash position. I would mentioned to my subscribers to my opening call, we're looking in the next few weeks to put money to work. There are some really good-looking stocks. And we'll see there are some stocks that actually have been holding well as this markets pull back. And those are the ones that should be leading the charge if we, if we start to make higher highs in the shorter term. But I, am, I have become cautious. I am still a little bit cautious. And I thought that the pattern that we'd be looking at, and this is still active, we'll see how it works, would be this pattern that I call the dreaded H. I'll just show this quickly. Come down sharply, make an arch formation, and then take out that left side low. So here's your sharp move down. I was expecting some kind of a rally. And if that starts to fail and we take out the lows of yesterday in all the indices, uh, I think that that would say, okay, now you've got to be really careful. So far, we've used, uh, used up time more than price. It's very interesting, this market. Wow, it keeps you on your toes. Yeah, there's no doubt. <laughs> Particularly, you know, it's intriguing that, you know, like just even this rally today, the rally today has taken back three days of the down trip. So, you know what I mean? Well, like, that, that's the point I was trying to make, that I expected a rally. And if you look at this, uh, it could even go a little higher. Somewhere in the, in the Dow, I'd go for the Dow, 34,050. If we go above that, hmm, maybe something else is happening. But if we just bounce a little bit more, maybe one more day and then start to pull back... That would be the cautionary note. But so far, uh, we've got some cash, and I'm looking to put it to work because I think there's some stocks that are really acting very well. Folks, get over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go to the newsletter. You'll see Basil's newsletter, the opening call, the second one down. Hit that baby. You can subscribe now. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You Thank too. you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.